And today's project is going to be converting an old LCD monitor into a light box. Monitor's out of date and doesn't work anymore and uh, could use a small light box to backlight stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. So, uh, not going to spend a lot of time watching the disassembly here. That's fairly straightforward. But so you've got the screws out, you've got the, the spudger in the, in the groove. Okay, so we've got the bezel separated now. I'm trying to work the rest of it off the, around the border. Disconnect the wire that runs all the controls here. So all the buttons on the face plate. Just held in place by foil. Alright, it's a ziff, but how does it come out? How oh. does they squeeze? Yeah, it looks like that's right. Now this should come out. I saw them going out. There it is. Recycle. That's attached. Okay, so those must be the power adders, which we don't need. So, screws, Phillips. I remember eight, nine years ago, some, some people building web, website developers trying to, trying to prospecting, trying to find companies that don't have websites. Mm -hmm. We were reaching out to them and they had like no interest at all. If you didn't have a website not 10 years ago, you're never going to get one. Because they've been around for 10 years. I mean, websites mm -hmm. have been around for 20 years, 20 plus years. But there's still a bunch of people who still don't have them. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the electronics that control the display itself. Yeah. More screw. 
So what are these? Oh, it's a rivet, I think. That's, I think those are the, the pounds oh. that the screws went into. That is, okay. So now, I think we can start taking off the sandwich. Separate the layers. So, this is the LCD itself. So, the LCD's right there, the, the front part. There's a diffuser for the backlights. Looks like it's underneath. Okay, now we gotta take this off. It's black there. Can't do it by fingernail. Okay, you know, I need to be a there it is. And this corner has one too. There. Yeah, use this one. Okay. Aim. The diffuser's ready to come out. One more. Ta -da. So there's the diffuser. One layer. Clear plastic. Actually, this is prism. Oh, I guess it's a prism, yeah. And then. Here's another layer. That's the white reflective, is it not? Just an opaque. Okay. Is that, the is that glass or is that yeah, the back might, light? Yeah, it's either plex. This is the. Diff it's got a bunch of dimple dots in it for diffusing the lights. So, these are the lights. That's the light. Oh, this okay. Is, so this the lights is the down light here, here in the bottom. This is okay. the light too. It's probably edge. No, yeah. maybe not. Yeah, so they're yeah, edge lit. It's got to be in. So yeah, so it's edge lit. So. And there's just a white, and then it's a bunch of. Different. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see the little dots. Diffusion dots, so you don't get hot points, hot spots. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna gonna pause here for a minute. All right, so we've determined that the the backlights are little neon bulbs, long skinny bulbs in here. It's kind of hard to see, but. The, a little neon bulb in there. So those are probably higher voltage, so we're going to try and use the original high voltage supply. We reconnected that, and uh, hopefully that, that part of this monitor was still operational. 
Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, now we got a problem turning it on without the without the on switch. <laughs> so move this off. magic button it doesn't oh. oh yeah, okay so oh. yep we'll just wiggle it so it looks to me like we'll be able to use these as the backlights for this light box so all we got to do is basically get the LCD screen out of the front out of the way and put everything back together oh all right well, let's do it all right all right, so now we're going to try and reassemble the uh, all the pieces here. Oh, <coughs> that may have to. Well, how can I help? I think the prism and then the uh, well the prism's this one or the, oh okay there's something on here you have schmutz. i got it a little bit there too what are these tabs line up with probably something here in the frame This one on, right? Correct. So it's one side different than the other. Yes. Yeah, I think this corner matches this tab here. These are here, I think. Mm, you sure? They line up for stamps. Look like they line up. No, maybe not. Uh, yes. Did that go inside or out? It should be. Oh, it's it's kind of rim. Both. It snaps on the rim. It's, the, it's a bezel edge. This is what holds the sandwich together. Yeah. Okay. It needs to. And there'll be a little bit of gap because there's no LCD screen in there. What is that? A hole. Okay. I think it needs to go inside the metal. Like this. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's how this one is too. What's going on here? Eh, get in there. Uh oh. There you go. Get it? Got it now, maybe. Here? Yeah. Can't tell for sure. Out of the 
Now the tabs line up. No, it must no. go the other way. Then there were some little screws, right? So after reassembling everything, we have to have it look like here. Got a nice little light box and power's on. It likes to blink once and uh, just so you wake up and know that it's working. Um, and then on the back, it sits pretty level just because the we got fortunate in the back of the monitors nice and level but that's all there is to it nice little light box